Hello. Yeah, all right. You know, as my friend Michael Caine, well, I call him Mickey C. As Michael Caine used to say, not a lot of people know this. My granddad, Sam Birch, from his dad, Joseph Birch, always reckoned there was a cotton mill on the top by Wee Chief Road, in between Chip Wee Chief Road and uh, Portway, top of Portway Hill. And you know, there was. When uh, Mekin Cotton, when, when it was King Cotton in the 1830s, 1840s, there was indeed a cotton mill there, the only one in the black country, the only one. And um, it was called the Portway Wee Chief Cotton Mill. And it was owned by Obidoya Fazakali Hardacre Crumble, Lord of Portway and Danoon. And uh, I remember mentioning this to Elvis when I was on tour with him in uh, Las Vegas. A lovely man. And he very kindly did a, did a tribute single called uh, Cotton Fields of Tibbidale and I Wish I Was in Dudley, which uh, did quite well for him, I think. Anyway, this was a pretty big mill and uh, investigating at the University of Penn's Nest, where, you know, I'm professor, um, I discovered a bit of history about it, including the ownership and where it was. And also this little song, which is quite rare. And they made all sorts of cotton stuff. They made um, Sunday hats for ptarmigans. They made thin, warm gloves for milkmaids. Made long socks for welt riddlers and cotton cummerbunds for accordionists. And uh, this song's about Matilda Curly Topping. That wore a real name. They always had nicknames at work. So her was called Matilda Curly Topping. Um, her, her name was McGill, but she called herself... Everybody knew her as Nancy. Her real name was Matilda Millicent Darby, my great, great aunt. And they all had nicknames in the factory. I found a record of some of them. There, and they were all physical appearance, really. You, you can imagine what they must have looked like. There was Stickleback Stevens, Donkeyhead Barrett, Fishtail Robbins, Porcupine Perkins and Alligator Rowbottom. Well, I say. Now, it mentioned shuttle kissing. When they were making the cotton material, the shuttle was the thing that went backwards and forwards with a thread and when it ran out of thread they had to put a new one in and the girls quickly found that the best way to put the thread in the quickest way was shuttle kissing so they'd put the thread there and they'd suck it through the owl like that and it was called shuttle kissing and this is the song it's the first song ever about sexual harassment at work join in the chorus if you want to i promise i will laugh Matilda Curly Topping Would a weaver and a lass And she did her share of laughing She had to share a brass A kiss to share a shuttles too But if they'd no but let her I'd rather pass the time away In kissing some better Now Matilda had to tackle her who were getting very free with Bonnie Curly Topping and he kept her in his ear. That fellow fairly pestered her, it amounted to a craze and she was getting weary of his spoony little ways. But till the Curly Topping were a weaver and a lass, she did her share of laughing she earned to share a brass well her kiss to share her shuttles too but if they know but let her it'd rather pass the time away in kissing summer better well she couldn't budge an inch he were always at her heels he followed her in factory and go into her meals one day while she was getting a shuttle from his bench he blurted out Matilda you're a greatly pretty wench and I don't want to see you kissing shuttles all your life so if I was to ask you would you come and be me wife if you give me all your kisses 
I'm sure you've many left. I'll make you a paint and thing of me for sucking up your weft. But till the curly topping were a weaver and a lass, I did a share of laughing and she earned a share of brass. Well, I kissed a share of shuttles too. If they'd no but let her, I'd rather pass the time away in kissing summer better. At that, Matilda cocked her ear, and she shook her curly head. And giving him a little smile, she wagged her head and said, I'm very much obliged for all your promises, choose out. Yet I cannot marry thee, because you are so foul. I'm sick of being single, yes I'm sick of sucking weft. Me teeth are going rotten, I haven't many left. I thank you for your offer, which I very much decline. For I'd rather kiss a shuttle than to kiss a face like thine. Matilda Curly Toppin were a weaver and a lass. She did a share of laughing and her earned a share of brass. Her kissed a share of shuttles too. But if they'd no but let her, well, I'd rather pass the time away. In Kishin Shummer better. Yes, she'd rather pass the time away. In Kishin Shummer better. Did I order a beat? Moi, there you go. Keep out that Ross Road. And thank you, Mother, for the piling. So I'll see you soon. I've got to go now. I've got to go and make some new flies for my fishing gear. I'm going down the mall all tonight to catch some trout for our supper. So uh, I'll see you soon. Ta-da!